Oh man, I'm literally super lazy to make a video right now, but I need that cash to snag an RTX 5090. Gotta grind for that GPU upgrade, you feel me? Actually, let me see something. I'm totally going off script here, but now I'm curious. How soon can I even get it? Like, how fast can I make that RTX 5090 mine? In Europe, it's around 2,800 euros. That's basically more or less the same as in US dollars. I don't remember why RTX are overpriced here, but I had read the reason somewhere. Anyway, 2,800 divided by the three euros I earn per video. That means I need to upload 933 videos? Yeah, I can very politely say, I'm totally screwed. <laughs> I'm totally screwed. Even if I very optimistically average 3.5 videos a week, which let's be real, is not gonna happen, it'll still take me 266 weeks? Five frickin' years? Amy, where do you see yourself in five years? With an RTX 9050 boss. Oh god, how pathetically sad is that? I mean, sure, goals are goals, but five years for a GPU? Ugh. All right, back to the main movie event. And, um, first I need to disable Just Perfection to unhide the top panel. But honestly, it's such a nice setup. If you haven't tried it yet, just do it. Meanwhile, I already have the extension that paints the panel to match the accent color, so that's the teal accent, um, uh, kind of teal. Um, basically, let me open file so you can see better what's going on with these accent colors. And settings. So, we've got teal, green, uh, BTW, the folder colors change thanks to another extension. It's not a core GNOME feature, okay? It just isn't. Yellow, orange, red, pink, and the extension only changes the panel color, not panel components colors, which, uh, you know, makes total sense. What I don't like though, if I maximize the window, oops, I need to use shortcuts. Oh, okay. So as I was saying, the thing I don't like is that the panel controls are kind of mixed up with the app window controls. And honestly, it's way worse with the default black panel color. Wait, 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 let me show you another extension that deals with that particular problem. It's called useless gaps. And yeah, it obviously puts some gaps around the windows, but here's the kicker. There's an option to disable it for maximized windows, which is literally the opposite of what we want. Hey, it doesn't work super well, so sometimes we gotta re-maximize the windows. Anywho, now I believe it looks much, much better. But on the other hand, you lose precious screen space. It's not a big deal in files, but for Blender or Unreal Engine, big yikes. Gotta weigh those aesthetics against functionality eventually. Basically, that extension is mostly made for multiple windows tiling. And by multiple, I mean two. But let's not talk about that now. Hmm. <laughs> Priorities, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, extensions window? Gnome just doesn't support you? Kiss yourself goodbye. Seriously though, I believe that useless gaps functionality should have been available in Gnome settings, and it should have been working properly. What do you think? Whatever. But I want to show you one last thing, and more specifically, this design here that makes the top bar color the same as the app's color. That design is from a Gnome user, not some main contributor, and in the first image, we see the panel matching the file's header bar color except for the left sidebar, which doesn't look quite catchy. Oh well, let's be real, it really looks shitty. <laughs> Moreover, we've got the problem I told you about earlier, where the panel controls and app controls virtually mix up, but here it's like one million times worse. And we should also consider all these 30-party apps that use custom header bars. Like, it's totally impossible to know their colors. Ah, damn girl, there are even no maps that don't expose their colors. Like Amberall which blurs the cover art image as the window background, including the header bar. All right, it's software. Everything is doable if there is enough motivation. Obviously, it'd be much easier for Adway to apps, but at the end of the day, does it really worth the trouble to ship a half-baked feature that'll literally work for less than half the apps, since people mostly use non-no maps, especially in maximized mode? You know, you'll use Blender Maximize, but you won't use, um, actually, funny story. Almost no no map makes sense to use it in maximize mode. Oh god, stupid phones ruining everything. Oh anyway, next, there's some more examples, like this white files or the white web. Hold on, hold on, hold it right there, dude. 
Are you trying to blind us? Or did you already go blind from your sketch and now you don't even know what you're doing? But next, another guy posts some related work from Guadec 2023, which is a bit better because it also takes into account the sidebars, but obviously it'll still fail for non nona maps. And again, I don't see the logic in blending the panel with the app, except of course, if you make it super perfect, because sometimes what feels wrong in theory you might love in practice, and vice versa. Also sometimes, you're reaching the end of the video and you're just like, what was even the point of this? Mm-hmm. I guess, one down, 932 to go.